I have a great love for amateur astronomy, and I like to find distant galaxies. There seems to be a unity and a common geometry, no matter how distant these objects are from each other. These videos put forward the idea that this is because the universe is based on one universal geometrical process. This can be seen in one of the most beautiful objects in the night sky, in the form of the diameter of Saturn, being very close to the golden ratio, relative to the diameter of its rings. I have checked this with many different photographs of Saturn, and it always seems to hold. In this image we can see that the inner ring division is in a relationship that is very close to the golden ratio, with the diameter of its rings outside the sphere of the planet. Also, the main division in the rings falls in the golden section of the width of the lighter outside section of the rings. This can be linked to the Fibonacci spiral that we can see almost everywhere in nature. We have the same spiral pattern in the head of a sunflower as we do in the spiral galaxies throughout the universe. But why? This is what these videos are going to answer. Why should non-organic and organic living matter have the same geometrical patterns? The one thing non-organic and organic matter has in common is that they are both formed over a period of time. Saturn's rings have been formed over a period of time, and Darwin's theory of evolution is a process over a period of time. If time and space are part of an emergent geometrical process, this could explain why we see the same geometrical patterns in the diversity of life as we see throughout the non-organic universe. In this theory, we have a universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that forms entropy with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation. The driving force for this process is the spontaneous absorption and emission of light or photon energy. This is a simple diagram of an atom with the electron probability cloud interacting with light or electromagnetic waves. The absorption and emission of light forms a quantum wave particle function or probability function that radiates out forming the uncertainty of everyday life. The electron is the most spherical object in the universe and I will place links below to mainstream physics videos that confirm this. In this diagram we have three concentric spheres whose radius are in a ratio of 1, 2, 4. If we draw a tangent line from the small sphere through the other two, crossing points A and B and extending to G, the ratio of the length of segment AG to segment AB is the golden ratio. In quantum mechanics, if the quantum wave particle function or probability function is reformulated as a linear vector, then all the information I have found says that each new vector is formed by adding the two previous vectors together. This is why this diagram is so important, because the outer sphere could be formed by adding the two smaller spheres together. And you could add the two outer spheres together to form a new sphere. And this is what I believe is happening with the spontaneous absorption and emission of light. Such a geometrical process would naturally form the golden ratio and the Fibonacci spiral. And it would make no difference if the linear vector was formed by a sunflower growing towards the sun 
or the formation of the rings of Saturn over a period of time. In this theory, we even have an objective reason for the start of the Fibonacci numbers 0, 1, 1, with the 0 representing t equals 0, the moment of now, with the 1 plus 1 representing the positive 1 and negative 1 of the complex plane. In our everyday life, this represents the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves, with everything being based on one geometrical process. This process is explained in much greater detail in my other videos. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.